out-of-state purchases. For the Lawmakers debated several hot-button issues as legislation continues to move through the political gauntlet. The Missouri House Tax Reform Committee discussed a proposal aiming to level the playing field between Missouri small businesses and internet companies. The proposal allows Missouri to collect already owed taxes on out-of-state internet purchases. Currently, Missouri shoppers don't pay sales tax on out-of-state internet purchases. Supporters claim this proposal helps put Missouri businesses on an equal playing field. This is not a new tax. We're just uh, attempting to collect a tax so that our, our main street can compete with the internet. Following the hearing, no further action was taken on the bill. Mr. Speaker, it is in no way... Passionate debate rang throughout the House chamber as lawmakers approved a proposal making changes to Missouri's voting process. The legislation requires Missouri voters to show a photo ID at the polling place in order to vote. The legislation requires the state to provide a photo ID to those who don't have one. If someone trying to vote doesn't have their photo ID, the bill allows them to cast a provisional ballot. Supporters claim the proposal aims to protect one of Missourians' most fundamental rights. If you're willing to fill out a fraudulent voter registration, what's your intent? It's to fraudulently vote, Mr. Speaker. This bill does deal with that issue because if someone tries to fraudulently vote with a fraudulent registration, they've now got to produce an ID. Despite vocal opposition, lawmakers approved the bill with more than 100 yes votes. The proposal now heads to the Senate for consideration. The Missouri House approved legislation making changes to Missouri's employment law. House Bill 1219 changes Missouri's employment law to mirror federal regulations. Lawmakers claim the proposal will protect employers from excessive lawsuits. However, opponents claim the proposal weakens the state's discrimination laws. It says that we value our bottom line more than the people that generate it. Weakening our discrimination laws does not make our state more business friendly and it will not create not one more job. The bill is part of the majority's overall plan to create a more business friendly state. Supporters claim the bill simply puts Missouri in line with federal law. This is a recheck and a reset to a time when our law matched the federal law and treated employees and employers on the same footing. Lawmakers approved the proposal with 89 yes votes. The bill now heads to the Senate for consideration. Rounding out the week, lawmakers approved a proposal aiming to bring data storage centers to the Show Me State. House Bill 1311 provides state and local sales tax exemptions to data storage centers. Lawmakers approved the pro-business bill with more than 145 yes votes. The proposal now heads to the Senate for consideration. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jonathan Lorenz.